if you ever look at your photos that aren't as sharp as they should be and you wonder what the heck went wrong, don't skip this video. I'm Betsy, I'm a photo coach at Cole's Classroom, and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you the most important variable in your photography that actually lets you control how much or how little blur you get in your images. So let's dive in. So when we're talking about shutter speed, the question might be coming to mind, what exactly is shutter speed and why does it matter? So before we dive into how shutter speed impacts blur in your images, I wanted to define shutter speed for you. The shutter speed is the amount of time that your camera's shutter stays open while you're taking a photograph. The shutter is in front of your camera sensor, so what happens is light passes through your lens into your camera sensor, and the amount of light that is received by the sensor is determined in part by the camera shutter and how long you leave that open. So a high shutter speed, which means the shutter is opening and closing fast, is going to let less light in than a slower shutter speed which means that the shutter is opening and closing at a slower rate. So let's talk a little bit about how that impacts motion. When the shutter is open for a longer period of time, motion shows in the image in the way of blur. But when the shutter is open for a shorter period of time, that motion is frozen. So I wanna show you a couple of quick examples. In these photos, I show you the difference that a fast or a slower shutter speed can make on motion blur in your images, especially when you're photographing moving objects. So in the image on the left, there was a shutter speed of 1 640th of a second. So that is faster than the shutter speed on the right, which we'll talk about in a moment. You can see that in that image, the faster shutter speed was able to freeze the motion of the child riding on the bicycle. In the image on the right, we used a shutter speed of 1 40th of a second, so that was a slower shutter speed. And with that slower shutter speed, there is motion blur in the image. You can sense that movement. So let's look at another example. The image on the left has a shutter speed of 1 640th of a second, and the image on the right has a shutter speed of 1 50th of a second. You can see that in the image on the left, the motion is frozen, and in the image on the right, there's just a little bit of blur. You can see that specifically if you look at the foot. If you're unsure what shutter speed to use, I have created a little guide that I follow when I'm photographing kids especially, or people who are moving. Uh, typically, if someone is riding a bike um, or doing some sort of sports, I try to use a shutter speed at least of 1 1,000th one of a second, and I'll adjust my ISO and my aperture accordingly. If I have kids that are running, I try to shoot with at least an, a shutter speed of 1 500th of a second. If I've got toddlers who are on the move, I'll use 1 400th of a second or faster. And if I'm taking just general portraits of kids, I try to go no lower than 1 250th of a second. If you've got people who stay still, you can get away with a little bit of a slower shutter speed, uh, but the minimum that I would ever go would be 1 160th of a second for my personal uh, preference. And then you have still objects, and the minimum that I would do there would be 1 125th of a second. 